This is Support is Sexy, episode 344, and we're continuing our series on starting your side hustle. Today, we're talking about what does a side hustle look like? Welcome to Support is Sexy. I'm your host, Elaine Fluker, entrepreneur, author, and founder of Chic Rebellion Media. Five days a week, Monday through Friday, I interview inspiring women entrepreneurs who share their wins and their lessons to help you take your business and your life to the next level and create something sexy. Here we go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Support is Sexy. I'm so happy to have you here. It just would not be the same without you. And thank you so much for coming back for day two in our five part series on starting your side hustle. Now, if you didn't hear the first part, go back to episode 343, start there, then come back and listen to this one. I'll be here. Now, today we're talking about what does a side hustle look like? There are a lot of definitions out there. There are a lot of people doing incredible content around side hustling. So make sure you look for that. But my definition is a side hustle has come to mean a venture that you start or additional revenue stream that you generate outside of your regular job or outside of school or outside of other primary obligations. I don't think of it as just something that you're doing on the side of your job. You can be in college or school and have your side hustle going on doing hair or doing something else. So it's a business or it's a passion project, but it's one that creates income for you outside of your primary obligation, your primary job, your primary focus, if you will. Whatever it is, it's in addition to your main thing, in other words. Now, New York Times bestselling author Chris Guillebeau, who recently wrote the book Side Hustle from Idea to Income in 27 Days, told Forbes magazine, a side hustle is more than just another stream of income. It's new job security. When you receive paychecks from different sources, it allows you to take more chances in your regular career. More income means more options. More options equals freedom. And that's a great way to sum it up. Now, Chris also has a podcast called Side Hustle School. Make sure you check it out. I think it gets 2 million downloads per month or something like that. It's a daily podcast and it features successful side hustlers each day. Again, Side Hustle School. Now, let's talk about what your side hustle might look like. It may be something that you've discovered you're good at that people always ask you for. You know, people are always asking you for some kind of favor. If you see a pattern there, that might be your side hustle and you've decided to start selling it. It could be skills that you've learned at your day job and that you offer to people outside of work. That might be your side hustle. Now, in that case, make sure that there are no conflicts. You don't want to do anything that's against your contract at work or your employee agreement or anything like that. So make sure there are no conflicts if you're offering something that's closely related to your work. It could also be a meantime business, so meaning that you're just doing it now to make some extra money. This is different, though, than a part-time job, right? A side hustle is something that you own and that you create. It doesn't mean that it's never existed before, but this is something that is just your thing. It's not you working for someone else in a part-time job, although there's nothing wrong with that. Extra money is extra money, but a side hustle really has no limitations on it. You can make as much as you can make. It's not about trading your time for money. You've created this. This is your thing. A side hustle can also be a business that you set up that generates passive income. So maybe flipping houses is your side hustle or something else that's more of a passive income as opposed to something that you do day to day. It could also be the beginnings of that new business that you've been dreaming of. As we talked about in episode one, this might be the first step where you're tipping your toe into the entrepreneurial waters. And this is what your side hustle is. You're thinking about someday when this takes off, this is going to be that thing. So those are some of the ways that your side hustle might look. Now, what it doesn't have to look like, it doesn't have to be a business that will take the place of your full-time job. Again, in the first part of the series, in episode 343, I talked about no job shaming. So having a side hustle actually means you have a primary job. Maybe you transition later, but you have a job or a full-time focus. You're doing this on the side, and it doesn't have to take the place of your full-time thing. It might just be, as we said, a passion project, but you're getting paid for it. It doesn't have to be the end all be all. It also doesn't have to be the start of a new business as an entrepreneur. It's not an either or situation. As we said, you can have both and. Now here's a heads up for what your side hustle shouldn't look like. 
it should not stop you from performing the key duties of your nine to five school or whatever your other full time obligation is. If that happens or when that happens, it's not your side hustle anymore. It is your job. Even as entrepreneurs, we talk about creating things and doing things that we want to do and having our own thing. Really, entrepreneurs create jobs for themselves until you get to a certain point and you don't have to be as involved in your business. You've created a job for yourself, but it's the job that you want. It's what you want to spend your time doing day to day. So if your side hustle becomes something where you have to stop doing your duties at work or you're neglecting your duties at work, it is now your job. It's not a side hustle. And lastly, let's talk about what a side hustle doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that you're unhappy with your job or that you're quote unquote cheating on your job. You might love your job, but maybe there's this other thing that gives you a different kind of feeling, a different kind of energy, different kind of income. That is your side hustle, but it doesn't have to replace your main thing. Again, if you're doing something similar to your job, you want to make sure that you don't have any conflict of interest, but you can have your full-time job, love your full-time job, and have your side hustle or side business. Now, I've spoken to successful women like Courtney Anderson and Tiffany McKenzie, who are the owners of Vibe Ride. And Vibe Ride is a cycling studio in Atlanta, Georgia. And both of them, both of those ladies are full-time lawyers. One is a tenured professor at a local university and the other is at a law firm. So they have big jobs, but they have this business and they've told their employers about this business, which is fitness, which is a different industry than what they're in. But in fact, they've not only told their employers about the business, they figured out ways to work together because they told me in the interview that employees and the company work with them to have events there and there's all kinds of ways they work together. So it's not a secret. They know they have the business, but both of them still love their jobs. Now, you can hear the story of Courtney and Tiffany from Vibe Ride in episode 203 of the Support is Sexy podcast. All right, so that's part two in our five-day series on how to create your side hustle. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about how you can figure out what your side hustle might be and what could be a fun fit for you. You'd never know, but we're going to talk about some ideas, so be sure to come back. So until then, to make sure you don't miss any of these episodes in the series or episodes down the line, make sure that you're subscribed to the Support is Sexy podcast. And if you love it, I would love a review from you. I always say a five-star review is amazing. I think I have over 65 five-star reviews at this point. So thank you. If you have left a review, five-star reviews are amazing, but any feedback is appreciated. So please make sure that you subscribe. And if you love it, leave a review. All right. So thank you again so much for being here. And until next time, you know what to do. Go out there and create something sexy and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.